Welcome to Grade 10 Mathematical Literacy. We're going to talk about rounding in this section. It is found on page 24 in your textbook. Please will you go and do Activity 3 on this page and then we will discuss the headline as seen on this slide. Western Cape Man wins 69 million in a Powerball jackpot. You can see that the author of this headline has chosen to use decimal commas as the thousand separator. What must we remember when rounding? The 69 focuses on the million part of the number. So we're looking at the 69 million. The rounded number, 69 million, must remain similar in size to the original number. Why do we round numbers? Well, it is easier to work with, easier to read, easier to understand. And it also takes up less space, for example, in the headline. Let's look at rounding off, rounding up, rounding down to a whole number. Maths literacy requires that you have a good understanding of rounding because Sometimes we round up, sometimes we round down, and sometimes we round to a specific place. It all depends on the rounding context. So we're just going to look at a few rules and then we're going to apply them to values that need to be rounded off or rounded up or rounded down. The first thing we're going to do is show the round off place using an arrow. Then we are going to circle the digit immediately to the right of the round off place and we're going to call it the neighbor. We need to inspect the neighbor. If the neighbor is five or more, we add one to the round off place and discard the rest of the digits to the right. If the neighbor is less than five, we leave the round off place as it is and discard the rest of the digits. Let's have a look at our first one. So if I round 62 to the nearest 5, we are actually looking between which 5 does 62 lie. So 62 lies between 60 and 65 if I'm counting in 5s. 62 is closer to 60, so 62 rounded to the nearest 5, we would round down to 60. This is a valuable concept that we use in maths literacy because no longer do we have one cent and two cent coins. So in supermarkets or on utility bills, the value is always rounded down to the nearest five. Let's have a look at the next one. We round to the nearest hundred. Well, first of all, we need to identify the hundred. So we have 700 and we are going to circle the neighbor. So the neighbor is 9. If it is 5 or more, 5 or more, we add 1. So we're going to add 1 to the hundreds column and discard the rest. Or in this case, with whole numbers, we fill up with naught. So this number rounded to the nearest 100 would be 12,000. 800. Let's round 12,798 to the nearest 10,000. Once again, those were our ones. These were our unit thousands. These were our 10,000. So we are rounding off to that value. That's our round off place. We have to circle the neighbor. In this case, the neighbor is less than 5, so if we round this number off, it is going to be 12,000 to the nearest thousand, to the nearest 10,000. Let's have a look at decimals. We have to round this number off to one decimal place. So we're going to identify that is one decimal place, round off place. I then circle the neighbor, which is 8. 8 is greater than 5, so I add 1 to the round-off place. 
and that number rounded off to one decimal place would be 2 comma 7. Do you see we discard the rest of the digits to the right of the round off place. Let's have a look at this number. We're going to round off to three decimal places. So we're going to 1, 2, 3. That is where I'm rounding off to. I look at the neighbor. The neighbor is 5. If it is 5 or more, I add 1 to the round off place and discard the rest. So this rounded off will be 2, comma, six, eight, five, to three decimal places. Rounding often appears in a context like this, 7,98 meters to the nearest meter, that is actually asking you to round off to the nearest whole number. So I identify my nearest whole number, which is seven. I circle the neighbor, it is five or more, so I add one, so to the nearest meter, that would be eight meters. Let's look at rounding off, rounding up and rounding down to a whole number, and this is context specific. Rounding up, for example, example three in your book, there are 385 learners who need to be transported in buses to the stadium each bus seats 60 learners. How many buses are needed to transport all the learners? Well, you take 385 divided by 60 and you will get 6,416. You need more than six buses. Now, remember when we were using our rounding rules, we looked at the neighbor and that was less than five, so that would have meant we left it at six. But you would have too many learners to fit into six buses, so the school would have to order seven buses in this case. You cannot overload the bus. Let's see when we round down. As I've said before, one cent and two cent coins have been done away with, so cashiers round down to the nearest five cents. What does that mean? Well, if your bill came to 784 Rand 99, you are going to be paying 784 Rand. You're going to round down in the normal rounding rules. That is what would have applied. You would have looked at the round off place, but when we round money down, you take the nine to the lowest five. So we are going to pay 784 Rand 95. So whether your bill is 784.99 or 784.96, you are going to pay 784.95. The amount has never rounded up. That is something that supermarkets have just instituted. I think it's feel good that you don't feel as though you've been cheated. You're actually getting something back from your supermarket, even if it is only one cent or four cents. What happens to a person using a credit or a debit card? Exactly the same thing happens because the tools have been programmed to round down to the nearest five cents. If you look at your utility bill, this is, however, a little bit different, as we will see later on. The amount is round do rounded down to the nearest five cents, and those couple of cents, whether it's one cent, two cents, three cents, or four cents, those are added to the following month's bill. That is the end of our rounding session. Please will you go and complete activity 4 on page 27 as well as exercise 4 on page 27. That's all for today. Thank you.